Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's NASDAQ YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce a free and fast and safe VPN solution. If you watched my previous video, you probably know I introduced quite a few VPN solutions, but none of them can compare with this one, provided by Cloudflare, which is one of my favorite cloud provider. About five years ago, the Cloudflare published this blog to introduce this new WAP free and safe internet connection solution for the consumers. It's basically using popular WireGuard protocol to build their own VPN service on top of their global free CDN network. There are quite a few confusing terms, WAP, WAP Plus, and WAP Plus Unlimited. Basically, 1.1.1 is only give you free DNS service, which can provide you some DNS filtering. Basically, the WAP is also 1.1.1, but also providing a better encryption to your DNS request and the data encryption between your request and to the data center in a cloud network. With WAPLAS, it's going to use in their routing protocol, Argo, and then route your traffic faster to your destination. It's also free, but you also can purchase unlimited WAPLAS unlimited solution, which give you unlimited access. With the WAPLAS, they have some limitation on how many data you can use for free plan, but usually it's enough for normal usage. So last year, Cloudflare announced they're going to developing a new protocol, MassQ, to utilize and quick this protocol to build their new WAP VPN tunnel. So you're going to gonna have two choices. You can use in WireGuard, you can use in this new MassQ. So that was announced last year, but this year, Based on their announcement, about one week ago, they officially pushed the new update to the WAP client. The mask protocol can be selected. So I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable WAP Plus and how you can choose the latest VPN protocol mask you as your VPN protocol. Why we are using that, for example, because there's lots of limitation here. Once you're using this kind of a VPN service that can unlock you to watch some internet content without paying to those other VPN service since WAP service is completely free. Now let's start it. In this video, I'm going to more focus on how we can get your WAP Plus and how you can utilize this new protocol mask you into your VPN settings because it's not that easy to use as you can choose directly from a web interface. No, you need to certain tuning from the configuration backend to enable the WAP Plus access to enable this MassQ protocol. To get 1.1.1 VPN client, which is very simple, this WAP client is available for multiple OS, depending on which one you are using. I'm using Windows to show you how to get this installed and how you can configure it, how it looks like when you're using it. Now let's start with downloading uh, Cloudflare WAP client based on your OS system. You can choose the one you want to download. I'm using Windows 11 machine as an example right now. So we can click this Windows to download it. It may take a bit time to finish downloading. For me, I already completed downloading on my desktop. So you double click to install a straightforward process. 
That should then take uh, more than two minutes to finish everything. So once you finish the installation, you should be able to see the startup app notification cloud fair is now configured to run. You will see this cloud icon is gray right now, but you can click on it. It will give you some instruction what is WAP. Accept the LAN policy. So you're gonna register in your device to the cloud fair. Now we are not connecting to the cloud fair data center service yet. Before we do that, we want to check a couple of things. You want to see the version. You want to see some settings. That's my public IP, which you should be able to get it from what is my IP.com website. So once we using Cloudflare WAP client to connect to it, we should be able to get the Cloudflare IP address. So there's a couple small settings. We will quickly go through that. You, as you can see right now, the WAP connectivity is not connected to it. Let's go back close. Let's go back to here to do the connection. Switch this button. So it's going to connect into it. Okay, it's now it shows your internet is private. So connection is WAP. DNS protocol is also using WAP. The connectivity is connected. We are using co-location center in YYZ, which is Toronto. I'm located. So now if we refresh our IP address to access internet, we get the IP address from Cloudflare. ISP. That's the basic what we can do, the WAP. But that's not what we wanted to show you today. I want to show you how to get a WAP plus. I want to show you how to use in latest protocol mask you to use it. So let's go to the next one. Enable WAP plus. As you can see from the screen, we are connected using a WAP connection, not WAP Plus. How can we use WAP Plus? It's very simple. It's also free as well. But you need to have Cloudflare account. Once you logged in your Cloudflare account, just click on Zero Trust. So since I already started uh, Zero Trust account, since I already started Zero Trust service, so there's some uh, wizard processes not here. I won't be able to show you, um, but you should be able to go through that very easily. Follow the screen instruction. So once you onboard it, you create your own team, which you can find out from your custom pages. This is your team domain. So that's what I created for myself, 51sec.cloudfareaccess.com. That's the one you need it later on. If you look at here, you will see preferences. You will see account. You can log in with Cloudflare Zero Trust. Before you can do that, there's one more thing you need to do. You're going to go to settings, authentication, WAP authentication identity settings. That's the important one to allow you to log in from your WAP client to using Zero Trust WAP Plus service. So go to WAP here, rules. You need to create a rule to allow certain people to join in. So let's do that. Let's call the rule name. You're going to use an email. Select uh, email ending in. So we only allow those people which has certain email account end it with gmail.com. You also can add your own domain or you also can add some other domains. For me, I'm using gmail.com right now. 
and then it's just add a gmail.com here, save it. You can add multiple at the same time. So now let's go back to preference, connectivity, account, login with cloud, free zero trust. Here it show you what is cloud field zero trust. You can go through that, accept your privacy. And then now you need to put your team name here, 51 sec. It will automatically ask you to open the login page which email address you want it to be logged in i'm gonna use my email nasdaq account to log in just asking and send me a code in a minute you should be able to receive that code i can log in with the code i got it sign in perfect So you can see the whole registering process again. So it began zero trust. Your internet is not protected because it's disconnected. Now let's connect in again. Connected. So let's see what's the difference right now. Connection began WAP plus. It's not WAP anymore. The account we logged in cloud free zero trust account. Team name is 51 sec. It allows you to have 50 users to use your zero trust teams to log in. The connectivity, all are connected. So that's how you can get the free WAP Plus for you to use. Simple, easy. Only thing you need is your Cloudflare account. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Cloudflare already developed the mask and released it in their product. So how can we enable it? We didn't see any configuration uh, to enable this mask protocol. But it's actually, it's inside of the settings. If you go back to WAP client setting here, then you will see there's a default profile. Once you edit it, there's a mask you beta option available for you to switch. So, which means you switch from WireGuard protocol to mask you protocol. Let's confirm this change and save it. Save this default profile. Now we need to reconnect to it. While it's connecting, we're going to go back to our program folder. We need to verify this configuration. You won't be able to see the configuration from here, It's it, which protocols it's using, but we have command line tool to show you that. So it's connected. Let's go back here. Let's go to command line. Type CMD, it will automatically open your command line window from this folder. We have WAP CLI command, which can show you all information you needed. So if you look at here, WAP command settings. There's quite a few settings, but we should be able to find it WAP protocol mask you. So if you check this command before, you can use him find the command to find that this is mask you. If you check this command before you enable it, it will be wildcard. But now it's mask you. So that proves we are now using the latest mask you protocol to connect into Cloudflare data center and browse the internet. Let's verify that again. What is my IP? We are still using Cloudflare Data Center IP, which should be able to unlock certain websites we couldn't access before. Here is one last thing. Before I using 
Cloudflare Web to connect to internet. I won't be able to watch this video from this website. There was a restriction on certain area can watch this uh, video. But now since I'm using Web, I can see it without issue. So that's the one thing I found it's very helpful using the Web, which can bypass in some restriction. So anyway. So that's everything for today. Hope you like it. If you think this video has some helpful information, give me a thumb up. Also, please subscribe my channel if you haven't. That will give me great support. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.